hello everyone in this video we will see how to create a client i'll go for the solution right click add new website and i'll say asp.net empty website and i'll name, name it as my client say okay now i'll add new item go for default page at default.aspx and here i'll just go for a drop down list and what i want is i want to get all those countries in the drop down list so what is it i need to do i need to get the wsdl reference or the url i'll just say browse with google chrome click on this wsdl file link copy this and go to the client right click and say add service reference so i'll click on this add service reference paste it here and i'll say go it should find that service that is my service and it should list all the methods which are available and i'll name it as my service reference say okay so i get the service added here i'll build it i'll go for the cs file say using my service reference if you remember web services we did the same thing now i need to create the object of proxy class the class is my service so here it will become my service client if your class is my service then the class at the client side will become my service client c equals to new my service client now say c dot i have get all countries method i'm calling it if you observe the return type it is array of countries whereas in our code we implemented that it should return list of country so at the client side by default the list will get converted to arrays if i want to make it as list or if i want to remain it as a list so i need to go for service reference right click say configure service reference and just change from system array to system dot collection dot generic list and say okay yes to all now i'll comment out this and rebuild this now if i say c dot get all countries you can see that now it returns list of countries now i'll give this as data source to drop down list one dot data source is equals to this then i'll say drop down list one dot data value field equals to let country id be data value field and country name be data text field and i'll say drop down list one dot data bind now i'm going to execute this so here i get the list of countries so this is my client and this is where i have hosted the service and this is my service so we have done all the three things in our next video we will see why do we need wcf services what were the drawbacks with 
remoting and web services and we will also try to look into endpoints what are endpoints so that's it for this video